guys, welcome back. Today we are doing number two of the MDTP Mathematical Analysis Readiness Test. If you are new to the channel, I recommend pausing this button and reading the description box below. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and jump on in. So the question says, which of the following is an equation of a line with the slope three and y-intercept negative four? So in order to do this problem, we are going to have to remember what slope internet, I'm sorry, slope intercept form is. So slope intercept form is y equals, sorry, I'm going to use some different colors here, m times x plus b. There we go, right like that. So if you remember, m here, that stands for the slope, and b stands for the y-intercept. So all we really have to do is just analyze our choices over here and which see which one has a slope of 3 and a y-intercept of negative 4. So again, here's the slope and here is the y-intercept. So now going through our answer choice, answer choice A has a slope of 1 third, so we know that that's not it. So let's go ahead and cross that out. Um, answer choice B has a slope of 3 and a y-intercept of negative 4. So this here is going to be our answer choice, but let's go ahead and go, go for um, C through D. So C isn't the correct answer because its y-intercept is positive 4. D isn't our answer because it has um, a slope of 4 and a y-intercept of negative 3. Similarly, E isn't the answer because it has a slope of 4 and a y-intercept of positive 3. So again, all you really need to do um, to answer this question is to just remember this formula formula right here, which is just slope intercept form of a line, and then you should be good to go. All right, well thank you guys so much for watching. I do have two super quick homework assignments for you before you go. The first one is to like and subscribe to this channel if you found this video helpful. And extra credit goes to anybody who is willing to leave me a comment, um, either giving me feedback or asking me to do another problem or whatever you'd like. And last one is to do question number three by the next video so you can be all ready and ready to go. All right, thanks so much for watching. See you next time.